smile is infectious you catch it like a flu when someone smiled at me today i started smiling too hello to my dear wonderful fantastic champion community watching this special episode of being champions with vaibhav nata this is your handsome wonderful amazing host and today you know i'm sorry about this but in today's episode we don't have a good guest and i'm really sorry about it because we have a great guest because we have an amazing fantastically awesome guest who's not just about speaking but he has a real mission one of the best speakers i've met in terms of real impact beyond wonderful inspiration of words and i promise you this is going to be a heck of interview I'm, you can see me i'm excited all the time but you can see a different level of jazz music going inside me so that's the level of energy i'm holding right now uh just to get you all introduced our guest today is bran williams he has spoken to a two lakh fifty thousand you can you believe that and at the same time with his fourth you know four degree of karate belt he has inspired more than three you know millions of acts of kindness he has connected you know, he has collected three lakh shoes for his mission about spreading kindness and he is doing an amazing work to solve the bullying problem around the world with his mission of spreading kindness all around he has reached students from so many different countries and brand i don't want to welcome you i want to virtually hug you to invite you here today i'll take it i'll take it i'll take oh, it yeah, we got it <laughs> <laughs> so there's so much i want to talk to you about here and my champion society wants to hear about it as well but before we go ahead and discuss about that brand let's discuss a little bit about your mission and work uh, i'd love to share it all but i'm sure the champion society would love to hear it from your mouth what's the wonderful you know kindness mission all about yeah so i grew up thinking that every single person could make a difference in the world no matter who you are where you come from every single person can make a difference in the world but then sometimes when you're a kid you have these huge dreams like i don't know what you were dreaming when you were a kid right you have these huge dreams but then sometimes when you grow up you get a little bit more negative and you start seeing all the world and a lot of people grow up thinking i don't think i can i'm just one person how can i make a difference and so i wanted to create an organization to inspire a world changer world changer champions to see if we can make an even bigger difference in the world so think kindness what we do is we go and we visit schools across the country and hopefully soon around the world and we inspire them to make a massive difference uh, in the world all through simple random acts of kindness amazing random acts of kindness and you also run this very wonderful beyond world you run this wonderful mission of the 15 day of kindness model where you challenge students about uh, i'll not say it let's hear from you again yes so what we do is rather than just talk about changing the world and just where it's all just talk 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 we can make a difference you can make a difference we give everyone a 15 day challenge where we ta- challenge every single school school versus school who can make the biggest difference in the world in just 15 days wow. so it's super focused where we get hundreds of people taking to the streets cultivating kindness but with the sole mission of making a massive difference not just within their community but literally getting kindness to seep out of their school walls and into the world amazing that's unbelievable mission and i'm moved by what you're doing right now i can relate it to our champion society you know the smiley mission of making wonderful people smile and making them realize that no matter what happens life is to be smiled about and life's all about inspiration as we go ahead over here and our team champions watching this over here you know a uh, brand is so much that we can do in life right you can uh as we grow ahead as you said i have my little nephew right there in a different part of the world and every time i talk to him he's so cheerful right and every time i talk to him he's like hi i say hi and he's like hi and she has that sort of energy and isn't it true that brand all of us were born with that energy but somewhere somewhere down the line keep decreasing and from this and this we become more of this and this and this and this and we become people who hardly make fun 
right? Our teams watching this are in the middle of that journey, surely losing a little bit of who they are, right? The question over here is why does that loss of enthusiasm, loss of living a life happen? As uh, as it said, most people uh, most people die at the age of 25 and our buddies at the age of 80. So how can you live forever with that enthusiasm? And how can we concept, you know, how can we conceptualize that idea to kindness at the same time? Yeah. So the thing is, is the, in order to like cheer yourself up, the weird part is you try to cheer someone else up. You know, my grandma always used to say, if you're having a bad day, just fake a smile. And in 10 minutes, it won't be fake anymore. Right. When you try to just like have that physique of just smiling, right. Inevitably, you're going to end up getting that happiness back. That's the crazy part is that when you do nice things for other people, it always comes back to you. And the thing is, when you look at the, everything that's going on in the world, like we all get glued to all the negativity that's happening around the world, right? Especially in light of all the, the COVID-19, it's really easy to get bogged down in all the negativity. And when you look at all the negativity, you can't help but just be a pessimist. But when you look at all the people around the world, from the kids to the adults, to people like you that are working really hard to make our world a better place, you can't help but be an optimist. There is amazing world changers everywhere, everywhere, including all the people watching this video. Every single person has the power to make someone else's day just a little bit better. And like you said, whether that's just by a smile, a high five, a hug, a compliment, a letter, right? All those simple things to that one person, it might mean the world to them. And so every single person has the power to change the world, but they just have to go out and take action. And you know what over there, Bran, even uh, what, what happens is that when, when so often we talk about changing the world, most people think that it's about getting the whole world together at the same time. But even you make three people smile, no matter how small, they're a fraction of the world, isn't it? 0.000000003% maybe. Right, but they are a part of the world, and if you influence a part of the world, isn't it true that you're influencing the world at a whole sum? Oh, for sure. And if, when you look at the ripple effect, it even goes even further. If you, if you do two acts of kindness for two people, and then those two people do it for two more people, now, now, now you're up to, to four people, and then it j jumps up, and then it jumps up, it just keeps going up until it just boom and creates a massive audience, or even with these right? With the power of your phone, right? People will share a story. And then all of a sudden that story could go viral. I've seen acts of kindness as simple as someone leaving a note on someone's door and it gets shared millions of times. That means millions of people are seeing that act of kindness. So that one simple act of leaving a note now just inspired over a million people. You see, every act of kindness can make a massive ripple and it brings us together. I say kindness is like the heartbeat of humanity, right? Just despite the fact that we live in different countries, right? There's people that speak different languages, different socioeconomic classes, but the one thing that binds us all together is kindness, is caring for one another. Right. Amazing set of energy and, you know, enthusiastic learning over there. And when you talked about one person, now I just remember a wonderful quote right there from Acharya Tulsi. He says that if you change a man, if a one man changes, inspired a family to change, a family inspires a society to change, a society inspires a city to change, a city inspires a nation to change, a nation inspires the world to change. It's all beginning with you, right? And when you yep. talk about changing the world, you can be like, yeah, I want to change the world. But the other day you'll be back home if you don't dare to change yourself. Isn't it true? It all starts with you taking the first initiative. For sure. Yeah, it's got to start with taking action. And I say in order to change the world, in order to spread kindness, it takes three things. Number one is to start small, right? You got to like, a lot of people think I got to change the world. I have to do something huge, but that's completely not the case. All the examples we've given today are super simple. Smile, leaving a note, right? Giving someone a hug, sending someone a message, right? So number one to change the world is start small. The second step to change the world, and this is often the one that gets 
overlooked the most, especially with kids, is kindness takes bravery, right? It takes an immense amount of bravery. There's so many times that even I can relate to this, and I'm sure you can relate to this, but there's so many times where you just might not be having a great day, and you see the perfect opportunity to do something really nice and kind for someone, but then you get that weird feeling in your chest where you just feel awkward. You might not know that person, right? You might feel awkward to go over and talk to them. It might be breaking social barriers for kids. It might be going up to the new kid in the school and introducing themselves, sitting down with someone at lunch that might have no one to, to sit with, right? You get this weird notion, this weird feeling. And, and the thing is, is part of you tells you to just turn and walk away and be like, hey, just go live your life. But then there's this other part, right? This other part of you that's telling you to run over there and do that act of kindness. And the thing is, is kindness takes bravery. If you look at any world changer, right? Throughout history, every single one of them, Every single one was teased, laughed at, ridiculed, made fun of, but they didn't care, right? They did the right thing no matter what. Oh, and so yeah. don't, don't, don't forget that kindness, yeah, it's, though it's so simple, when you see your child do an act of kindness, celebrate it, right? Because kindness takes bravery. And the third step wow. to change the world is just take action. Right? It's, not, it's one thing to notice all these ways to change the world. Everyone can tell you, oh, if you should do this, this, and this. But it's a completely different one to actually be the one to take, take action and make it happen. Kindness takes bravery. My man, my man. <laughs> That's amazing. Kindness takes bravery. And it's all about this little things that you do that bring a massive difference in an overall. So now I want to talk, uh, Bran over here, a little bit about what I went through as a school children. I, uh, you know, when I was in school, I remember being beaten up and being bullied, not just by my seniors, classmates, but even by my juniors. And that was me freaking afraid to take a little step to speak up. And like me, with my mission of making people realize the champion within, there are so many kids over there who are going through bullying or there are kids watching this, there are parents of kids watching this who bully, right? So at this point of time, what can we talk about to make the down ones realize that that's not where you belong and create a harmony situation for and inside the school where champions are not yeah, so one of the ways, you know, when you talk about bowling and things like that, you know, when I grew up in martial arts, right, you grow up learning how to punch and kick and doing all of these things, but they, they say that, you know, a true martial artist should never have to use a martial arts. Wow. And the ultimate way to combat bowling is to actually, and as hard as it sounds, is to be nice and kind to everyone, right? If someone's mean to you and you're nice and kind back to them, it like puts people on a twist, right? It, it makes them think differently. And that's so hard. It might not be one act of kindness. It might be several. And unfortunately, there's the, the biggest thing when you look at bullying and what's happening is you usually think of the two people, right? You think of the bully and you think of the victim. But there's an even bigger audience behind the scenes that's watching that happen. And that's why kindness takes bravery. It's tapping into those spectators, right? Those onlookers that are seeing it happen and telling them to stand up for what is right. And usually most people, they're scared, right? And they're scared to step up. And that's not wrong for them. It's just to recognize that they're just not brave enough yet. But when you do see that bravery, that's something to, to celebrate. And the thing is, is every time, like for you and every adversity that you hit, right? You know, when you break through on the other end of it, it just makes you that much stronger. And as I like to say, that's part of your story right? Your story of going through that adversity, anyone watching this and hearing that story, of whatever adversity you're going through, that's your vehicle to make the world even better. Because when you're done, you're going to be that much stronger. I love this saying that, it, you know, smooth seas never made great sailors, meaning every good sailor of a ship has to go through some storms. They have to endure the storms to make their skill sets better right? You might be going through storms, anyone watching this right now, but you need to have faith that at the end of this, it's going to make you that much stronger. And for you, man, it sucks that, that, that you are bullied and stuff in school, but you know what? Now you can go back and 
and you're going to help millions of people and you're going to inspire millions of people and you are going to be one of the ones that are going to inspire the change that our world needs. And so we all go through adversity and it's not fun. But just have faith that every single one person that's watching that is going through adversity, you're going to come out stronger at the end and never lose your mindset that you can still make our world a better place. And indeed, when you talked about that wonderful idea over there, Brian, about smooth seas never make great sailors, isn't it true that seas are made to be irregular and bumpy so that yep. you develop yourself as a greater sailor? Because if you, if you ask for a smooth one, and maybe let's say you get that, it's true that throughout the life, it's very sure you're not getting to, going to get the smooth you know, seas all the time. So all yep. rough sea rides that you're going through, all the avalanches that you're going through are actually building you to become a better sailor because you got to goddamn far places to take your ship to. You have a long way to go with your ship, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. And you just got to keep trudging along. There's another great example is that you can never ride a bike without pedaling, right? It's impossible. You have to pedal. And the thing is, is sometimes in life, you want to quit. You want to sit back. You want to be like, ah, forget this. But you have to keep pedaling. You got to keep trying. And it especially goes when you try to do that act of kindness. Every single one of us has tried to do something nice and kind for someone. And it doesn't work out. They don't accept it. It doesn't get perceived well. We try to make a difference and it just falls flat. And some people are like, I tried. Right? But you have to keep trying. Those are the ones that come out on top. Those are the ones we idolize. Those are the ones that we aspire to become. Those are the ones that go down in the history books. And every single person in the world has that ability to make that difference. As inspired and as moved as I am over here with the wonderful learnings that we are having as champions at this point of time, it's amazing to have this energy over here and I want to take it for long, long hours. But yes, we have some limitations in the TV show part. I have a surprise for you. Do you like surprises? I do. I do. I love them. Okay, so this is a little bit of scary surprise over here, okay? And why I say this? Because over here, Brian, in the TV show Being Champions, we have had everyone from world champion of public speaking to Olympic medalists to best-selling authors to wonderful speakers like Brian Williams, right? But with all of those wonderful speakers and transformers coming in for the show, when we do this surprise part, many of them get these out and many of them no matter how big of speakers there sometimes it becomes right so that's how it might become and it's going to be really really fun so it's going to be rapid fire round but a little different over here i'll give you random words they could be as random as my name vabhav nahata and as specific as you know an ac remote Right? They could be as philosophical as kindness and they could be as random as pen cap. Right? And all of that coming in, you have to respond to that instantly and at maximum, you can use six words. At maximum. Okay. I I'm ready. We're going to I'm go game. back Let's to do back. It. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. So, as we go ahead for this part, on a count of three, two, one, Brand Williams. That's the word. That's the word? Bro. Having a great time. Money. Does not bring happiness. Life. Joyful. Life. Beautiful. Success. Making the world a better place Kindness. and leaving a lasting legacy. Kindness. Easy and awesome. Happiness. Just smile. Being champions. That's more of a motion, right? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, celebrate. <laughs> Vabhav Nahata. Energetic. YouTube. I waste a lot of time on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> speaker say it again 
speaker speaker speak speaker uh uh um megaphone okay you did well considerably all right well. okay to all the champions watching this i am sure you had wonderful learnings and before we move into the final part of our brand is there any final message you would like to share um my final message is i want to ch- chat challenge every single person watching this broadcast right now to try to go out and do two acts of intentional acts of kindness and if you want to reach out to to me on instagram just go to kindness.nation and i'd love to see pictures of your awesome random acts of kindness okay to all the champions a little challenge for you right there and thank you so much brian for joining in today's fantastically awesome episode a virtual high five boom oh yeah thank you so much for joining in for today's very special episode to our champion community over there i'm sure you had bunch of fantastically awesome learnings i'm taking in a lot from this lunch table today wonderful delicacies and i'm sure you took in wonderful pizzas of learning as well Thank you so much. Have a fantastically awesome time. Till then, see you next week only on Being Champions with Babhav Nahata. Bye-bye.